What's going on guys? Your boy Rome Lake is back again with another video. So, I don't think I've ever done anything like this. I'm excited to do it. Workday fragrances. Fragrances that I think are appropriate for all genres of occupations, right? These are the fragrances that I consider to be more like mass appealing, um, easy to pick up. Some are a little bit more fun, a little bit more exciting, but I guarantee you there'll be fragrances in this line that you wouldn't even think of until you'd be like, oh, that makes sense. Police officers, corporate America, doctors, lawyers, teachers, construction workers, truck drivers, maintenance men, anybody that does anything, personal trainers, I'm hooking you up with the best work fragrances out there. Let me get a sip of this. I'm becoming a tea guy again. I kind of drifted off into my coffee phases, but got that Earl Grey tea right here. With that said, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications when I shoot more videos, especially when I drop them, they're gonna come straight to you. I truly appreciate it. We're gonna have some fun right now. Sit back, relax, get some popcorn. It's about to go down. Alright, so like I said, let me show you some of the best work fragrances available, in my opinion. Alright, so the first fragrance I want to show you guys is from uh, the Spirit of Dubai. Now, you guys might be like, wait, Spirit of Dubai is known for heavy Middle Eastern bombshells, and you'll be right. But there's a fragrance, there's two fragrances in their collection that I think is work appropriate. and. I would say this one would be more of a kind of corporate job, something that you're wearing a suit, something that you're going to be in an office, uh, something that you're just kind of in your own environment. People walk into your office, they're going to get a really nice smell. Plus, it's fresh. Fresh with a twist. And that fragrance I'm talking about is a brage. Now, a brage has, of course, bergamot in the opening very citrus uh bright clean smell but what sets this apart in my opinion is the combination of citrus meets cedar wood um there is a nice uh woody base in the mid and the dry down that makes this fragrance a perfect fragrance that won't be offensive isn't super heavy and is actually pleasant in the air on you it smells good I think it's gentleman appropriate, but someone walking into your office smelling this right here, there's no doubt that they're going to ask you what you're wearing and it's a pleasant, soothing fragrance for people around you. So corporate America, guys that's wearing the suits, nine to five, get your nose on the brush. I think you'll like it. All right, another fragrance I think would be a fantastic work fragrance. And I told you guys, I'm not going to leave the ladies out. I got to bring some ladies to my channel. And I think this fragrance right here will be a perfect fragrance for nurses, teachers. Once again, ladies that work in corporate America, if you're trying to get some attention, you're trying to command attention, but also have kind of a light, spicy sweet nuance behind it this is a fragrance you want to try and this is from Erdemo and this is Lin or Lean this fragrance right here the combination of lemon saffron rose they can't be beaten the lemon nuance in the opening 
absolutely provides you with this freshness this citrus vibe but also slightly clean the saffron adds a touch of spice and a little bit of sweetness but what will definitely turn heads and say wow that's a wonderful fragrance it is a beautiful smelling aroma jasmine rose and ambergris in a dry down now i said to you before that yes this is a feminine fragrance but guys don't sleep if you like soft floral kind of clean citrus fragrances you can try this too but ladies trust your boy you need this especially if you need something that smells good and can get you through those hectic days try this one out let's go check out the next one all right so this is a fun fragrance this is one of those fragrances i say um if you are kind of an entrepreneur if you like fun fragrances but sometimes you got to go into you know corporate america sometimes yes this is a fragrance i think will work well but i think this fragrance will be great for like promoters djs bartenders anybody that works in those kind of entertainment atmospheres because it's fun it's sweet and it's a gorgeous smelly fragrance and that fragrance is Kajal 3 now I said this before playful sweet but this fragrance reminds me of a citrus soda Sierra Mist 7-Up uh, Sprite with a vanilla kind of background so citrusy vanilla or you can even say one of the vanilla uh what do you call them um, uh like ice cream floats i think that's what it's called yeah fantastic fragrance fun fragrance and i think this will be work appropriate in those environments because you got something fun something something vibrant and also especially if you're a bartender they smell this on you especially the ladies the guys gonna be like what you wearing all oh, that smells great and that's cause conversation and you're gonna get tips so check this one out yeah it's it's a must-have a lot of these fragrances i'm gonna be talking about is gonna have a theme when you go to work most people 85 percent of people don't want to be offensive or attract negative type of attention from people that are sensitive to fragrances so you want to kind of be safe i am totally different in that aspect um, I try to be respectful, but I'm going to wear what I want to wear. But with that said, most of the fragrance here is going to be on the safer side. I threw a little bit of, you know, curveballs in there just for those daring people. But most of them are safe. They're, they're fun and they're absolutely work appropriate. And this one I have in my hand is just that. This one is a new fragrance from Graham and Pot. I reviewed it, but I need you guys to know about it. That is... Night of the Realm by Graham and Pot. Now, don't let the black matte finish on this bottle confuse you. This is very, very bright, very citrusy. This has a abundance of lemon in this fragrance. Very citrus, very uh, uh, tart in the opening, um, but it's pleasant. Um, this fragrance has the combination of lemon, bergamot, and mandarin orange sets it apart from any fragrance I have on this lineup because you're getting bursts of wake me up, wake me up, it's morning, it's time to go to work, especially when you spray this fragrance on because it just screams bright, citrus, clean, fresh. The type of person I see wearing this is kind of on the i would say blue collar side someone that works outdoors someone that likes fresh fragrances something that is a little woody in the base and has a little bit of a uh kind of pine nuance now not piney in the sense of pine tree but woody slightly green warm in the dry down but absolutely fresh and citrusy in the opening so if you're the type of person 
that works outdoors you know someone that may be a police officer that's always on the beat patrolling cars i mean patrolling firemen someone that works in construction or landscaping you're gonna be like hey i'm not trying to be outside with a fragrance on that's going to attract a bunch of bees and all that most fragrance now has like these deterrents from like bugs in it so you don't really have to worry about that so those people that are worried if i wear this type of fragrance i'm going to be surrounded by bees and gnats and mosquitoes no this is not going to be like that this is definitely one of the fragrances i think that needs to be worn when you're outside i also said this is a great gym fragrance but work blue collar guys grab this one the next fragrance i have this is kind of a, a mix for me because I can see this fragrance being for absolutely white collar doctors, lawyers, anybody in that CEO kind of vibe. Yes, this fragrance can suit them, but I also think this is suitable for those bartenders I was talking about before because it gives off a uh, kind of a white cocktail boozy vibe and that fragrance I'm talking about is Vetiver Imperial yes Vetiver Imperial is a margarita in a bottle and you're saying Ron, why would I want to wear something that's going to smell boozy to corporate America no 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 not at all the boozy aspect is just a vibe it's not a smell it's the vibe I get right this is Vetiver this is Bergamot this is tangerine this is slightly warm in the bottom with the sandalwood the cedar wood i think it's sandalwood and cedar wood if i'm not mistaken but the overall smell in this is a beautiful green citrus vetiver and it it's a fragrance that i think smells like money you you wearing this anybody that smells this on you is going to look at your shoes they're going to think you got gucci's on Immediately, they're going from down, especially the ladies. You ever seen how the women be looking at you, especially when you introduce yourself to them? They look at your feet first and they look up at you. They want to see if your shoes are clean. That's how they tell if you take care of yourself. And then they look up at your hair and your face, see if you you, you cute or you're not. That's, that's this fragrance right here. This is that vibe. This is the doctor, the lawyer, the uh, uh, accountant. This is uh, the real estate mogul. I must have beautiful citrus fragrance that is based in vetiver money let's go check out the next one next fragrance i think this is the fragrance if you're a salesman if you woman or man this fragrance will work well with you it's a beautiful playful fragrance but i think this is the fragrance that you wear if you're trying to distract people from anything else but you this is why I say this is the salesman fragrance because you want people to pay attention and what better way to make someone pay attention than to have a gorgeous fragrance on and that is this one right here V Intense now I told you guys this is one of my gatekeeping fragrances this is a fragrance that I don't really want to tell people about but I have to say every time I've worn this to work I've gotten an abundance of compliments. You know, I've been hit on countless times and I honestly can't stop smelling myself. I look kind of weird when I'm walking through and I'm just, oh, that damn, that smells good. Oh, man, I, man, I smell, like, I literally do that when I wear this fragrance. If you love, uh, how can I say, a, if you love a spicy plum rose fragrance, this is one you need to get. And not to mention, the sweet nuance in this is what's going to draw everybody in that sales department. When you're trying to sell those $500, $600 purses, when you're trying to sell that three-piece suit, when you're trying to sell that jewelry, this is the fragrance that's gonna make them say, okay, so how much? Okay, all right, all right no problem. I'll get it, but what's the fragrance you got on? That's this right here. V Intense by Robert Piguet. A must have and a gorgeous work fragrance. 
The next fragrance I want to show you guys, this is a suit. You must be wearing a suit. You have to be wearing a suit. I say either you're going to be, how can I say it? You're wearing a suit, yes, but there's a mixture of how I would say who and why you would wear this at work. I would say if you are a college professor, yes, this is a great fragrance to wear. I say if you are a fashion designer, I say yes, this is a great fragrance to wear. Now I'll go back to the designer. That's the main one I would say would wear this because when you wear Penhaligon Satorial, you ain't wearing nothing but the best. This is the Fougere of all Fougeres. Clean, fresh, beautiful in every way. If you're looking for a fragrance that smells like shaving cream and a fresh cut piece of linen, this is the one. The absolute best, you, you have to have it. I say, I'm always gonna be wearing a suit when I wear this fragrance. If I'm going out to sign some contracts, make a deal, or have a great first impression on someone, I'm rocking this. If I'm going shopping and I know that I'm going to one of those high-end designer stores, especially if I got a fresh haircut, like, well, not haircut, but you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, if I'm, if I'm looking dapper down, I'm rocking this because no one's gonna question if I got the money to purchase whatever I'm buying. I'm not saying you have to be, you know, coming off kind of snobbish. I don't want to sound like that. But if you know what I mean by wearing and looking your best, you want to smell your best also. And I think that if you are the type of person that works in, you know, designer, creating designer stuff, this is a fragrance that will kind of exuberate that feeling. Um, if you are a professor in college and you're those type of professors that like to have kind of a prestigious appearance, this is that fragrance I think will work well with you. So that's why this is on the list for a great workday fragrance. I got some more. Let's go check them out. Another fragrance I think you guys got to check out. I would say it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what type of job you have. This is just an easy, everyday, beautiful, oriental fragrance that is, it's a light oriental fragrance that smells fantastic. And once again, this is a fragrance that is unisex. I'm not excluding this only to men. Women can wear this fragrance too. I just think that it's an easy, everyday, you can grab this at any time. Imperium from Electimus. Now, now, if you're talking about a fragrance that says citrus and opening, but I don't get that into like the mid, this is that. It's met immediately with vanilla and amber in the opening, in my opinion. It has these light floral notes. You got lily, you have tuberose, you have rose, but those are very faint, but the citrus note kind of comes in probably a half hour after you get comfortable enough to enjoy the amber, vanilla, and floral notes. But I'm telling you, this is a must have. If you need any fragrance that you could, you don't have to worry about it smelling good, it's smelling great, it's a fantastic smelling fragrance, but this is one of the most easy, ready to grab work fragrances in my collection. So that's why it's in there. And trust me, not a lot of people know about this or they sleep on it, but trust me, you'll love this one. All right, let's go check out the next one. This next fragrance, um, I think this is one of my favorite fragrances. It wasn't at first. I, I kind of shunned it because I, I was wearing this fragrance and I was like, I don't know, it's not really working because I thought it would be a great summer fragrance. It's okay in the summer, it's decent. But the fall, the cooler parts of the year, this is absolutely a must have. This right here is Lavish from Bodicea to Victorious. 
yes, this is a workday fragrance. This is an absolute must when it comes to looking for a clean fragrance. A woody citrus aromatic fragrance that I would say if you want to grab a overall banger, this is another fragrance that I would say there's no reason to, you can blind buy this and I'll be hard pressed to say that this is going to annoy or say, oh man, I shouldn't have bought this. This is such a mass appealing fragrance. You have, once again, orange, bergamot, lemon, you have vetiver, you have a beautiful warm nutmeg in this fragrance that I think that's the, the note that sets us apart from any other fragrance I mentioned. The warm, slightly woody, nutty vibe with this cleanness and freshness in this fragrance is beautiful. And it does have a nice, balanced, tamed, sweet undertone from the entire fragrance. But the freshness, the cleanness, and this, this slightly sweet nuance of green is Oh, man, I want to spray this on because that's how good this smells. I'm going to spray it on. And I remember smelling this. I was like, whoa. I was like, man, ah, this is, this is, um, what is it? The, uh, Elysium by Dior Sauvage or like that. I was totally wrong. This is definitely an intention grabber like those, but this is much better. Anywhere, corporate, blue collar, white collar, doesn't matter. I don't care if you're a plumber. Get this fragrance because phew, it's a the best fragrance I have and what I would say is the ultimate uh, work fragrance in my opinion. Yes, it's all those things I said before, attractive, mass appealing, um, fun, but this fragrance to me, if you have, I would say, I would say if you're an active person, this is the type of fragrance that you want. You're in an office, but sometimes you gotta leave. You gotta go out, you gotta drive, you gotta be outside. You, you can't be sitting down all the time. Whatever that type of job is, you're hustling. You gotta, you gotta be, uh, in, 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 you got to be a person that's always on the go. If you're always on the go, you need a fragrance that you can grab and smell good in any environment. Cool, hot, uh, fall, in the office, outside, whatever the case may be, this is that fragrance. I think this will be great for in a suit or even if you're training in a gym. And that is Morning Chess. Yes, this is the fragrance that I think is the best work fragrance out of all of them. Pineapple, a leather note, a beautiful combination of soft leather mixed with a Hawaiian tropical sweet pineapple and this kind of airy woody vibe in the bottom. Now, there's also a peppery nuance to this, but Yes, this is, um, in my opinion, a beautiful leather that complement, that's complemented with citrus and pineapple. Fun? Yes. An attention grabber? Absolutely. I sprayed this fragrance on a woman that I was 100% couldn't stand me. And I sprayed it on myself. She walked past me. She said, oh, that smells good. And I said, hey, I have the bottle. Let me spray it on your hand. You would have thought this lady fell in love with me from the smell of that fragrance, the way she looked at me. I was, I backed up a little bit because I'm like, whoa, it's just, it's just a fragrance. And I thought, like I said, I thought she didn't like me at all. But when I tell you a fragrance that if you're a personal trainer, yes. If you're outdoors, yes. If you are one of those people that's like in and out of your office, going to different buildings, going to different, you know, making deals, this is that fragrance because it's refreshing, it's vibrant, it has a little kick with that leather note, and yes, I think this is a perfect work fragrance. Morning Chess by Valhelm, a must have. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This is, and was fun, never done anything like this before, and 
we're at work 90% of the time. We're there more than we're at home. So, of course, you want to smell good when you're at work, right? Go grab these. Go grab the other ones. Do me a favor. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Give God the glory. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I love you and I thank you for the opportunity to speak with my peoples, my smell good guys, your people. Give God your life. Turn your heart over to him. Confess that he died on the cross for our sins. And I pray that you guys that aren't saved change your life around. Until next time, like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Peace.